Aeolus was this like Greek god. He was king of the wind and he stored it in like a cave to be used later. Sounds like we've got a handle on your scheme, Aeolus. Hey, Windbags, Trace here for D News. Renewable energy, it's big in Washington state. In fact, they have a mandate to power 15% of their whole state by renewables before 2020. As they're creating this new infrastructure, utility companies have to figure out how to deal with the drawbacks. Coal power plant, for example, can operate 24 hours a day, running a lot of coal during peak hours and less during other times. But unlike traditional generation, renewables are subject to other forces of nature. She's not a very predictable lady. What do we do when it's cloudy? What do we do when there's no breeze? What do we do when the river is low? If more power is generated than is used by renewable utilities, they sell it wholesale to other companies. That's bad. Or they shut off their turbines altogether. That's worse. Hydroelectric has a boost after the winter snow melt. Solar is best when it's sunny. Wind is obviously. You've hopefully seen our video on the power grid, so you know there are a lot of old components in our grid. It's not like they can just shunt power anywhere when they've got extra. It's not ideal. There is one solution that may solve all of these problems, and it is one of the coolest energy projects that I've seen in a long time. Compressed air energy storage. CAES is an energy storage scheme that's been around since the 70s, and during peak generation hours, they use that extra power to force compressed air into a giant container or a large storage area. Then when peak usage hours occur, they loose that compressed air, heat it with a bit of natural gas, and expand it, boom! Turbines and electrical energy. Amazingly efficient energy storage without batteries and the ability to switch between storage and usage in minutes. Impressed? Because I was, but <laughs> there's a little more than this. Are you ready? Because this is freaking fantastic. Rather than building giant containers or something to store that compressed air in, the utility companies plan to pump the air into underground porous and permeable rock structures. They're storing it underground, you guys, in empty aquifers and mines and stuff. This is amazing. And as an added bonus, one of the two storage centers will use geothermal energy instead of natural gas to heat and accelerate the air. God. We've currently got two plants, one in Germany and one in Alabama that already use similar systems, but they use old salt mines. These porous rock structures are naturally occurring. They can be far more prevalent than old salt mines. So if this works, we could see more efficient and profitable renewable energy because utilities could fill these underground storage areas and extract it anytime they need it. So let's see, environmental concerns. These mines are at a depth of oil and gas wells. One of two planned wells is over 10,000 feet deep and the Earth's crust is used to way more pressures than that. Pollution, it's just air. It's regular old air, as far as we can tell. Natural gas burns clean, geothermal is part of nature. So does this method of power storage have you worried or excited? Spill any thoughts you have or other cool ideas for energy storage, and we will see you next time on DNews. Thanks.